Hello Cancers, welcome back to my channel. This is Divine Balance and I will be doing a reading for the first half of February. This is a general reading for the Cancers. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If Cancers reading doesn't resonate with you, check the rest of your chart and maybe some uh, another reading will help you a little bit more with your situation. Okay, uh, also, if you would like to book a personal um, reading with me or follow me on Instagram and Facebook, my information is in the description box below. I also have a sale on my website with 30% off love-related bracelets, as well as 15% off uh, certain products that are love-related as well. I do recommend you use FedEx or UPS shipping because if you're trying to get it for Valentine's Day, there's no guarantee that it's going to get to you in time what with the delays at the post office just like you know okay now this is my second time recording this because i had so many issues with you guys going um with the reading so i did keep the cards that you have as far as what's um happening with you but i will do the other part um over okay so these are the three cards that came out for you guys okay so we have coming into power, which is a beautiful thing. I step into my power boldly and confidently. We also have being in the flow. I am in the flow of the universe and emerging into grace. I open my soul to grace. So some of you, after a lot of um, soul searching and going within, maybe having an awakening or of some sort, you're realizing who you are and you realize that the universe is what has control of everything. So you're just going with the flow of things now instead of trying to control it yourself. And you're also coming into your power. You're you're having your confidence and your courage and, you know, the beauty within you as well as outside come out and you're showing it to people, which is also a beautiful thing. This was also at the bottom of the deck, soaring into joy, childlike wonders fill my life. So you're also being adventurous, having like that childlike, energy you know what i mean you might even be going to a playground if it's warm outside okay swing on the swing Wee! go down the slide Woo! you know it's like you're getting in touch with your inner child you're enjoying life you're enjoying yourself and not taking things as serious as you used to sirens okay so um oh look now i don't remember what i gave you for the angels cards i put it back in the deck so let me do that again for you okay i feel like you guys have been stagnant feeling dull which is why you're going with the flow you're coming back into your power which is good because i just kept, i kept stumbling over my words it could be this damn retrograde too but let's Angels, what do you have to say to the Cancer? It's the first half of February. What do you have to say to the Angels? First half of February. Talk to me. Cancer, the first half of February. Cancer, the first half of February. Messages for the Cancer Angels. Second time around, we got a little bit more. Beautiful. All right. So we got spiritual abundance being one. Got all that money in there. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. Abundance doesn't always have to be money. It could be you being healthy. It could be you, you know, being happy, love. It could be any of that. It's abundance new beginning thank you angels for opening up the doors of to change i am ready see stepping into your power you got a whole new beginning going on and look you stepping in it gracefully look at that look at that new beginning okay and your white light is shining and it's bright and look at this the miracle of forgiveness thank you jeremiah archangel jeremiah excuse me Thank you, Jeremiel, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. So when you were going within, there were a lot of things you had to forgive yourself. There was a lot of things you had to forgive other people for doing. 
And that's why you're having this new beginning and this spiritual abundance as well. You're stepping into your light, stepping into your power. And as a result of you doing the work, you get the abundance in your new beginning. So that's great. And look at this. It's at the bottom of the deck. Count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. So now you're being more appreciative of the things that you had happened in the past and the things that you currently have um, right now. Count your blessings. A lot of people are going through hard times because of this pandemic, you know? So count your blessings. All right. Now, put these to the side. So far, so good. Let's see what you guys have going on. Cancer, first half of February spirit. Cancer, first half of February spirit. Queen of Swords, stepping into your power. And you got some good messages, Page of Wands, coming in. Good communication. Five of Wands. Okay, so we got Queen of Swords, Five of Wands, The Hangman, Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Swords. So, first thing I'm getting is after so much conflict, so much conflict and so many delays, you are going to pretty much be the top dog in the situation. You're going to have your new beginning. Your money's going to flow. You know, this could be a family situation. You know, you'll, get, you'll have your family. You'll be happy. And you're going to have your new beginning for a sword. You're laying all the bullshit to rest. Five of Wands, Four of Swords. All the shit that you went through, all that chaos and conflict that you have had within yourself and even outside of yourself, you just come into the realization, look, I'm over this. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I am going to be happy. I'm going to get the things that I want, need, and deserve, and I'm going to have the victory. I'm going to have the victory. Nobody is going to take over me. Nobody is going to tell me what I can and can't do. You know, I'm not letting anybody pretty much take advantage i'm gonna have the victory and as well you should nobody should be causing chaos in your life five, five of wands nobody should be causing chaos or conflict in your life and if they do you need to remove them you've been so worried and hanging from this bullshit for so long but you've come out of it you've come out of it you're coming out of it and you're laying it all to rest you take this knife cut yourself down boom you don't have to worry about it anymore and even at the bottom of the deck, we got seven of cups. You know, you're coming out of that illusion. Some of you may have choices and options of things that you know that you want. Okay? So, let's further elaborate. Yes. It's like you're choosing to change. You're choosing to go through this transition of loving yourself more. Fighting for what you believe in. I ain't mad at you. 
Uh, let's see if we can elaborate on these things, shall we? Okay. Let's see what we can do, okay? Pentacles, you're balancing out your life, you're balancing out your happiness, and you're working hard on it. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You're working on you. Very good, very good. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> yep, see, look, balance the sun. Bal balancing out your happiness, illuminating the bullshit. And take, look at that, the fool, and take it a leap of faith. I know that's right, Cancers. Come on. We're only in February and at the beginning of February. You don't have to go into all the chaos that you were in before. For what? Do you want to bring it to you for? What's the five of wands? Five of wands. Yep, see. You got Eight of Pentacles and the Devil. Working hard to remove the toxicity out of your life. Toxic people, toxic things within yourself, obsessions, um, addictions, that type of stuff. So you, whatever it is that you had an issue with that was on the negative side, you're pretty much removing that out of your life. There is nothing wrong with that. I am proud of you. If nobody told you, I am proud of you. If it was people, anything that was causing chaos, you are removing it out of your life. Look at that. And Ten of Pentacles again. So that you can have the necessary things that's in your life. So you can possibly, some of you getting your family back. All of that. You know? Some of you may have um, had some issues that caused you to lose, you know, your family and all of that. And you're working on getting them back. You're working on... Removing all that bullshit so that you can have your family back so you guys can come back together. Some of you are working on your money. Removing things that cause you to uh, have delays in your finances so that you can get to that Ten of Pentacles. You can get to being officially fully abundant. Yes, hangman. Mr. Hangman. Mr. Hangman. Mm-hmm. We got the Knight of Swords, so coming in swiftly or possibly moving too fast. Things were delayed because you were possibly moving too fast in a relationship, moving too fast with some ideas, you know, and then five of wands is at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, you were you were moving too fast with these people that don't mean shit to you. Knight of Swords. It's the Knight of Swords. They could have been the ones causing conflict on purpose as well. Knight of Swords. <laughs> and it came out again. Right in the five of wands. Moving too fast with these people that have caused chaos in your life. So as a result, because you were moving too fast with these people, things got delayed in your life. They caused delay they caused the delays, but at the same time, you gotta take responsibility. You know, you were causing delays as well, because you were really delusional about this situation. Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Seven of Pentacles. You didn't think before you acted. And you invested with somebody that may not have been good for you. Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Yeah, you got the Moon card. You know, there was, may have been some hidden betrayals, hidden truths about this, about the stuff that they were doing. I feel like some people were causing issues in your life and you didn't know it and you didn't realize it. And you weren't sure, Eight of Swords, you weren't sure what was happening, but you're coming out of that energy. You know, you had a lot of envy around you. Wow. You had a lot of envious people around you and jealous people around you. And they wanted to pretty much stop your growth. 
they wanted to stop your growth while you um were standing in your truth they were sitting there lying and trying to get away with stuff maybe somebody took something from you somebody may have stolen some things from you stolen some ideas stolen money stole a person you were in a relationship with but i mean if they can be taken then they were never yours right six of wands this is six of wands Ace of Cups, yes, see, clarified by the Six of Wands, victory and success is the Eight of Cups, you're loving yourself, I love this flower on here, this is so gorgeous, okay, but you're loving yourself, you're being happy, maybe some of you are getting the victory with the previous relationship that was bullshit and shitty and they were toxic and they're getting themselves together so that they can give you victory and success and offer you this cup of love because, um, you know, some of them may be watching you on your social media. Some of them may um, want to tell you how they feel. Maybe, you know, premature communication, though. You know, they might give you a little bit of truth, but they're not going to give it all to you. And you're ending this backstabbing shit from the past. You're you're ending it. It's it's not happening. And they could be ending it, too. They're like, I'm tired of, of, of lying to myself. I'm tired of not saying how I feel. Ace of Cups. Okay, two of cups. Okay, yeah, you're gonna end up having some of you may have victory and success with somebody that you feel is your soulmate. Some of you may end up coming into union and they may offer this cup of love because look, there it is again. There's that flower again. Some of you may end up, it could be a relationship for some of you. Some of you may be coming in with this, um, coming into union with somebody that you had a lot of problems with and they're coming back to offer you something real. Look at this. Queen of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're strong enough and confident enough to come back and offer you a new opportunity or tell you that they want a new opportunity with you. And they're going to have the strength to communicate this with you. And you're going to get karmic justice because of this. And your wish is fulfilled. Yes. So I guess because you held out, you stood your ground. You're like, no, I'm going to be happy whether or not you're here. I don't care how you feel. You're toxic. You keep causing this conflict in my life. I'm going to be happy. They realize that and they're going to come back and offer you something real. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. What? Stability. This is going to be stable. Look at this. The lovers. Yes, I'm loving it. They are going to offer, offer stability in this relationship. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. And you got the tower here. The tower doesn't have to be bad. They may have had a sudden realization about it. Like, I need to get my shit together. Okay? They want to be happy. They want to be abundant. And they're looking at you as single, happy, and abundant. And they want a part of that too. Not saying that they want to take anything from you. Just saying that they want to have that as well. And they feel like it's going to be with you. What's the tower? Look at that. Justice. So they may have had karma hit their ass and realized where they wanted to be and where they needed to be. Look at that. King of Cups. They are in love. They are in love with you. Some of you, they are in love with you. Four swords. Okay, spirit. Throw the cards out, baby. Four swords. You know, clarified by the four swords is the chariot card. So you... And this person, look at that. They go down low, oh, this flower bar, fly, fly, when I'm low. She take me high. <laughs> I could teach you all the sounds of love. I had to say that part. I'm sorry. But they want to move forward with you. They want to move on from the bullshit. They want to start over and take a leap of faith. Chariot card. The chariot card. Gaining your strength. This person may be gaining their strength. Because you guys know. 
You guys know where you want to be. You guys know where you want to be. You want to know. You know where you want to be. You could. Stress card. Stress card. Yeah, having the strength to end this heartbreak. To end all this chaos. Look at all this. All this chaos and problems that were happening in the past. The betrayal. You're moving away from that. Moving away from the delays and going into your wish fulfillment and changes. That's what you're doing. So whether it just be for yourself, you're going to have victory. You're going to have success. You're going to have a new beginning. You're going to have uh, your finances will be great. You'll have st stability throughout all around all areas of your life. All areas of your life, which is a very good thing. Now, for those of you, let's see what time. Okay, for those of you who um, this could be a person. Let's see who it could be. Bottom of the deck, neighbor behind you. This could be a neighbor behind you where you had issues with and you're going to win throughout all of these problems that they cause and you're going to win at the end of the day. Okay? Now, who also, it could be a co-worker trying to cause shit in your life. Like I said, it doesn't always have to be romantic. Okay? Workman's comp, they fucking with your money, but you're going to get your money. And it's been a long time coming, delays and all that shit, but you about to get the justice in that, okay? Could be your best friend. You guys may have had problems. They may have been the one holding you back and doing it on purpose out of envy and jealousy. Fourth child's mother. I know some people got a whole lot of kids, you know, not sure who child, which person is doing it or causing the problems. The fourth child's mother is having the issues. Maybe your uncle, if you're close to this, your uncle, maybe your uncle is the one causing these problems. And then, of course, a current enemy, you know who it is, that could be causing all of this. But at the end of the day, like I said, you're moving away from it and you're going to be happy while they sit in their misery. Okay, now let's see what they have. Do has any other messages for you? What other messages do you have for the cancer for the first half of February? <laughs> cancer, first half of February, please. Messages for the cancer, first half of February.
Bottom of the deck, you got positive energy. Yes. Keep that around you at all times because I'm telling you. All right. So you got closure needed. So some of you have a cycle that's about to um, close or maybe you have a conversation that needs to happen with somebody that you just need to pretty much end it with. We got lurking. Somebody's lurking. Any of these people could be lurking, trying to feel like what you're doing, trying to see what you're doing so they can report it back. Ridiculous. Feeling alone. You may be feeling alone, but remember you are not alone. That's not a Star Trek statement. I'm just saying you're not alone. There's somebody that you know that you can speak with there. Um, you got your angels, your archangels, your spirit, your spirit guides, ancestors that you can always talk to. Having private conversations in your own home. People don't think you're crazy. You got low vibes. Either you have low vibes or someone around you is low vibrational. Get rid of them. Look, you got nine here and you got nine here. Okay, so close to endings. It's about to end. Endings bring new beginnings. Walk it off. Even though you might feel alone, walk it off. You go because remember, you're at a higher um you're at a higher vibration with yourself now. Notice the signs. Okay, there's angel numbers that will be around you all the time. Notice the synchronicities, 222-444-99. Remember those, notice those. And when you see them, even with this one, 15 breaks down to a 6, 24 breaks down to a 6. When you see them, I'm sorry. Look, I'm going to show you something. 6, 7... You got five, six, seven. I thought there was an eight in here. False alarm. But you got five, six, seven, though. And then via phone. Someone could be lurking via phone. Somebody could be checking via phone. Somebody might call you via phone. Either way, the negative needs to go. Positive needs to stay. Okay? So... That is your reading for the first half of February. Again, if this resonates, like, share, comment, subscribe. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. Let's see what's going on here. I got time. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my girl, Fire Intuition, uh, for her timing oracle deck. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. Let's see what messages we got real quick. Okay, some of you have things that's going to be happening within 60 days. Things are going to be high vibrational and changing. And some of you may also have some stuff going on within the next 10 days. Either way, comment, let me know. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I am uploading. I hope this resonates for some of you guys. Okay. And like I said, if you want to book a personal or follow me on Instagram and Facebook, my information is in the description box below. Don't forget about the sale for my uh, beautiful bracelets that I do make myself along with other products that are 15% off um, and 30% off depending on what you get. All right. Until the next time I talk to you again, Cancers. Bye.